Quasi here. In today's video, I want to share with you the one Neville Goddard law that completely changed my life. And spoiler alert, this is the law of assumption, but not just the law of assumption, but understanding how to properly use the law of assumption. Okay, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can begin to use it in a way that it actually works for you. And by the end of this video, I'm going to share with you an exercise that I use that helped me literally manifest everything that I've always want it. Stick around till the very end of this video and let's go right ahead and get started. So real quick before I get started, I made a brand new bootcamp for you as well as you can get access to exclusive email lists where I can share stuff that I can't quite share on the channel. The access for that will be in the pinned comments down below. I don't want to ramble on around that. I just want to get started with this video. So today's video is about Neville Goddard and this law of assumption and understanding a crucial piece that will allow you to implement it better in your life. When I got started off in this journey, like everyone else, I was doing all the affirmations, visualizations, scripting, journaling, and doing everything to get what I wanted. I was in a desperate need in a place of scarcity because I was about to graduate from college and I didn't really want to go into regular nine to five job. I wanted to do something that gave me freedom in my life and I also wanted to earn a lot of money. But I was kind of afraid because I didn't feel like I was worthy or deserving of any of that. So I hoped and prayed from this place of neediness and scarcity, hoping to get something. And obviously that never worked. I'll tell you this, I did begin with some assumption. Every single night, I remember reading this book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill combined with some of Neville Goddard's works. And I was like, okay, just assume that you already have. But then it was hard to ignore my current reality and where I was because the unfortunate reality was I was a broke 21 year old college student and I didn't know what to do. And I really felt like a broke 21 year old college student. All of my narrative was that of a broke 21 year old college student. Okay, I was complaining about the same things broke 21 year old college students would complain about. So that's what my reality was, right? I had assumptions. I made these assumptions that, hey, you know, every morning I would read this little note I wrote. I'm so happy and grateful that I have $100,000 in my bank. And I read that for a year and nothing happened. So I did make these assumptions about having. And I always visualized and looked at myself having the money and having the things that I wanted, maybe the business or you know whatever it is I wanted at the time, waking up next to that partner of my dreams. I focused on having all of those things, but none of those made a change for me. So you might be asking at this point, you were still assuming quasi and you know, I'm doing all of these things too. I'm making these assumptions, but they're not working for me either. Well, this is why they're not working for you. And please pay close attention. We never receive things that we want to have we receive things in direct proportion to who we are. Everything that you're experiencing in your life right now is a complete reflection of your internal world and the assumptions that you make about who you are, what you hold to be true about who you are, how you view yourself. Some people call this self image. I have literally dedicated my whole life to working at this core identity level because it has been so profound for me and it has been so profound for over 900 clients that we've worked with. When I shifted my focus from having and making all of these assumptions about what I wanted to have to who I wanted to be, okay? My focus shifted from having to being. I understood, I don't remember where I saw this, but I understood that there are three paradigms. And I made a previous video about this, by the way, you can click on the link in the comments to check that out. But there are basically three paradigms of existence. We begin with what we want to have and what we want to have leads people to understanding what do I have to do in order to have? What do I have to do? What action do I have to take? What massive action do I have to take? in order to have. Have you seen all these people who are like grind hard, grind hard, grind hard. I won't be able to sleep at night if I don't grind hard. You know, as long as I've done everything that I can, I won't feel guilt. They're in a perpetual mode of avoiding guilt. They don't really want to have the thing. They just want to avoid guilt. You see that? So they do everything that they can and this massive action burns them down to the ground and they don't get results. But then there are those people who are like, okay, who do I have to be in order to have? Who is this person who is effortlessly having this? They are kind of like the wizards who make it look real easy, right? When you look at them, it's like the action just pours out of them effortlessly. They don't have to feel guilty or anything. They just simply do what's necessary because they know if they are and if they simply operate from that place of being, 
the actions flow out naturally. You don't have to manipulate some action. You don't have to do for the sake of doing so that you don't feel guilty. So unfortunately, 99% of people right now, they operate from a place of lack and they do all of these things, take all of these actions from a place of lack, scarcity, guilt. When I shifted my focus from having to doing something to actually just being and then seeing from this place of being, if I were this seven figure business owner, how would I be? How would I live? What would be done? So every single day I'm reminding myself of who I am becoming, who I am being, who I've chosen to be. And when I started doing that, literally within the next few months, I had a client reach out to me, a prospective client reach out to me. And back then I had no idea that I wanted to go into a coaching business, right? So I run my own coaching business that does over seven figures every single year. And I didn't know that at the time, around 2018, I didn't know that that was the path that would give me that freedom that I wanted from being the broke college student. So as soon as I broke out of the broke college student or that corporate professional narrative into that seven figure business owner narrative, that's exactly what happened. Now it doesn't happen overnight because reality takes a little bit of time to create the reflection that you desire because of the nature of matter. Matter is so inert. It takes a little bit of energy to move things around and a little bit of time for the image to form. So that's exactly what happened to me. When I started to make assumptions about who I wanted to be, instead of seeing myself as who I was, starting to see myself as who I wanted to be and ingraining more and more of that, that's exactly what happened. So now the question becomes, how can you do this for yourself. I'm gonna share with you an exercise to do just that, but please, I want you to remember, don't get distracted in what you want to have, the shiny objects. Don't get distracted in what you want to do. Those are great. Those are great starting points. And you're gonna see when we talk about the exercise. Those are excellent starting points, but those are not the end. The end is who you are being. Because please think about it this way. If I am, everything is because I am. Do you understand this? Literally spend most of your time thinking about this. If you understand this one thing, you will be a complete master of your destiny. Because I am, everything is. Because I am, the world is. The key is to focus on being assumptions. And this is what I like to call the identity. Who you see yourself as, what is your identity? I saw that in my life, in every single area, when I shifted, fundamentally who I was operating as. Let's say in weightlifting, right? I was stuck for a very long time. I was a scrawny kid. I couldn't gain weight or anything. And when I shifted my focus from, let's just go out and lift some weights into, no, no, no. If I am this bulked up, this weight or this muscle, and I look like this, who am I being? How do I feel? Do you see what I mean? And then everything comes as a result of that. In dating, if I were this attractive guy, how would I present myself? If I were, if I am, do you see the assumption here? If I am, let's assume that I am. So now let's talk about this exercise that will make this all click for you. As usual, we always begin with what we want to have and that's okay. Let's say you concoct a picture of your ideal scene, which is what I used to do. I used to visualize myself waking up in my dream mansion and I thought this was located somewhere in the mountains by a waterfall, maybe in LA, there was an infinity pool in that mansion. It was a small sleek mansion, like contemporary. And I would wake up, go to the balcony, take a breath of fresh air next to the partner of my dreams. She was blonde and she had this certain like certain characteristics and then I would walk downstairs and I would you know go to my infinity pool and like bask in the view behind and then I would go out and I would have my red Ferrari and then I would forget the keys and then my beautiful perfect partner would throw me the keys to it and then I would drive off into town. That's what I kept visualizing for a very long time. But what I realized was I was focusing on what I had, the Ferrari, the mansion, the balcony, the partner, etc. I didn't focus on who I was. You see the difference? I focused on what I had and what I was doing, but I didn't really zone in on who is this character that has all of these? What are the traits that he has? How does he feel in his body? How does he feel about life? What is his outlook? That's the identity. So let's talk about that. The exercise is simply, let's begin with the assumption of what you want to have. Begin with visualizing or assumption of what you want to have. And then in that scene, look at some activities that you're doing in that ideal scene. If you were to have everything that you wanted, what would you be doing every day? 
Who would you be hanging out with? How would you be spending your time? When I looked at me having a successful seven figure business, I would look at it as I would have all this freedom, I would have all this time, I would have a great team taking care of everything. I'm chatting with my team and everything's going great. Everyone's super pumped up, super motivated, and that's exactly what's happening now. What I was doing, and then finally, from all of those, I can reverse engineer it into who I am being, who I am. When I looked at those ideal pictures of me having a successful presence on YouTube, a successful YouTuber, if you will, what am I doing every day? How am I making the videos? And you know, just looking at something that I'm writing on the board, and you don't have to know exactly what it is. The clearer you are, the better, obviously, but the more important part is having that feeling. And that feeling, guess what, is who you're being. Focus more on that feeling of, if I were this ideal self, how do I feel? If I'm making this successful video, this great video, how do I feel? Do I feel energized? Do I feel inspired? Like, what do you feel? Once you've found who you're being, that becomes your core focus. And from time to time, you invoke that being throughout your day. You invoke that state and you stay in it for as long as you can. And then you just fall asleep. This is what I actually realized. When Neville Goddard says, then you fall asleep. Falling asleep literally doesn't mean you fall asleep like in the literal sense. What Neville meant by falling asleep? He meant falling asleep in life. And stick with me here because I think this might be like, like a big game changer for you. It literally meant just become this ideal self and react. Let whatever arises from there arise. Let whatever action happens from there act. Do not interfere. Do not doubt. Let whatever problems arise, you fall asleep, okay? Everything that happens from that point forward is completely natural. In the morning, you visualize you become your ideal self, and from that point forward, you fall asleep. For the rest of the day, you're asleep because you already are this ideal self. Everything's happening naturally. There is no manipulation. Your subconscious just, just takes over. I learned this from playing golf. For my whole life, I used to be like, all right, you should always be conscious, remain conscious, but it's a balance between staying conscious, consciously making the decision and then reacting. Because if you don't react, you don't let this beautiful system, this, this system that's been developed for over hundreds of thousands of years, this system that literally has survived so many natural disasters and so much shit, and it's this infinite intelligence, the unconscious, the subconscious that we possess. You don't let it function when you let the conscious interfere. So the conscious mind is simply for making the decision, making the assumption, and then the subconscious takes over from there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely hope this was helpful. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of this. If you like this, if you want me to make more videos like this, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell there so you're notified of any new video that I put out. And also make sure you check out that bootcamp. The link for that is also in the description box below. If you would like to work closer together with me and my team in our flagship Reality Mastery program, I'm gonna link, leave the link to apply to work with us below. You can click on that and you'll be taken to a short survey. Who we typically work with are people who are business owners and entrepreneurs. You know, they wanna to get to that 20K a month. They're stuck at around 5K a month. They wanna to get to 20K a month. They're seeing they don't have a tactical or strategic problem. They have an identity problem. It's their own internal world that they can't get past. We've developed tools and strategies to help someone go from that point to becoming this six-figure business owner, even seven figures, just by changing your internal world. So the link to apply for that will be down in the description below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Peace.